With an unemployment rate continuing to fall and government investing heavily in education, social services, and upskilling the labor force, prospects have never been brighter of government hitting its set fiscal targets in the short term and an even more ambitious goal of a trillion dollar economy by the end of this decade. Our Sujin Kim tells us why. Finance Secretary Recto reaffirms all of government is hitting strides to cut poverty incidents to a single-digit rate or 9% by 2028, or the end of the president's term or sooner. The Philippine economic outlook is the brightest it has ever been. He says the Philippines is on course toward a trillion-dollar economy, joining the ranks of economic giants like China, Japan, and Korea. We are expected to outperform ASEAN economies, the forecast for 2025 is even higher. In fact, gross domestic product expanded by 5.7% in the first quarter of this year. Better than China at 5.3%, Indonesia at 5.1%, and Malaysia at 39 Further adding that growth targets for the following years proved to be not only attainable but also sustainable. He adds the Philippine economy's dynamism is anchored on strong consumer demand supported by a vibrant labor market. With this, he thinks the country hitting upper middle income status next year is well within reach. Unemployment and unemployment rates continue to decline to historically low levels. The Marcus administration continues to invest heavily on education and social services, as well as equipping Filipinos with technological know-how to harness full labor potential. It is forecasted the Philippines will be the world's 13th largest consumer market by 2030. The DOF, after adjusting fiscal targets, maintained that these are now more realistic, pragmatic, and proactive. This also after privatization efforts are expected to boost non-tax revenues. Government agencies have been replacing red tape with the so-called red carpet to boost investment-led growth through game-changing reforms. The ease of paying taxes law is a giant leap forward in creating an environment that is investor-friendly, simple, and innovative. Cutting red tape and fast-tracking business procedures have helped in animating the country's growth and revenue generation. Department of Finance Secretary Ralph Recto says he doesn't expect inflation rates to go up. In fact, depending on the inflation outlook, third quarter inflation rates could meet a decrease. On the other hand, the Finance Secretary and NEDA Secretary Arsenio Balisacan say rice prices could go down by 20% come September. Sujin Kim from the National TV Network for the New and Better Philippines.